and we are back. Back, sir. How you been? Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J67. And I am T Jones. How you been? Artist formerly known as XT Jones. Can you please? I know, I'm sorry. Stop with the shenanigans. The shenanigans. What's that place called that serves the uh the chicken fingers and cheese sticks. Oh, shenanigans! Shenanigans. <laughs> we have it's one out here, ain't it? No, I don't know about all that. I just know that's from, oh no, uh, Mul- from uh, Super Troopers. Yeah, <laughs> no. Nah. Like somebody says shenanigans one more time, they're getting pissed away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mullig- it's called Mulligans. Mulligans, and then yeah. we got uh, but uh, Fuddruckers. I was gonna say butt fuckers, but it's Fuddruckers. Oh, uh, fun ruckers. <laughs> fun ruckers. We need to I've sweat. Never been. Where to Mulligans? No, well, there and then the Fud Ruckers. Fud Ruckers. Fud Ru- I, I feel like that's an adult place with a name it's, like that. I don't that. think it is. That's what's so funny about you, it. You bring kids there, you know. Uh, you you couldn't yeah, bring I, me there as like a kid. Me, I'm that kid. Dude, I would have like, pressed the limit. I'm pushing the limit. <laughs> bro, I laugh at babies falling. So, of course you uh, do. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I, oh, man, just man. horrible. You're just a horrible bastard. Yeah, I try not to laugh like I would <laughs> kids trip over carpet and stuff. And I'm like, ooh, <gasps> sorry, baby. Ooh. You know. No, yeah. you know what? I laughed. Serious, right? I laughed at my daughter when she fell one time, but it was like after I held, oh, baby, get up. She got up, mm-hmm. and I was like, shake it off, and she shook it off, and I just started laughing and pointing, and she started laughing and pointing back. I was like, oh, my baby oh, got a sense of humor, God. so. Savage daddy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. <laughs> right? I, I laugh, bro. I laugh all day. But, okay, before we already off topic off topic again off topic mm. so let's let's kind of recap about our non experience of comic con this year mm. so we didn't go we did not go um i am throttling the poverty line and i didn't <laughs> like spending all my money on going to comic con uh, um, i just had a baby yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse for everything. It's going to yeah. be my excuse for six months. Bro, I just had a baby. Thing. I love using my kids to get out of things. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. That's the one thing they don't tell you about becoming a parent is like you can get out of everything. It's, it's funny you said that. I was like, hey, man, you, you ready to go to the gym? Nah, man, nah, my baby, nah, she's sitting the on the babies. couch eating some yeah, gold. Yeah. I got to watch her eat these graham crackers. <laughs> Yeah, oh man, like I, I gotta go make sure my baby's sleeping properly. Oh, in, oh in the man, proper position. Hey I'll man, be, I'll be back. Hey, I do pull up. Hey, can I get a jump? Oh man, sorry. Uh, got I got baby. my baby in the car. <laughs> got my baby, my baby right there. She's sitting there. Yeah. Uh, ah. There you go. It really pissed me off. All right, there we go again. Jumping off track. Comic Con, yeah. 2018. Con. Okay. So, but what we did was we watched a lot of trailers. Um, I made a couple of trailer reviews. I didn't realize how many there were. That, that's your key to go to his YouTube channel, YouTube oh, yeah. forward slash Baron G67. That's my plug for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. check it out. Okay. Actually you did you did a great review on Glass. I oh, think yeah. that was a that was a great review. Uh I learned a lot. Um, to be honest, I didn't even know that was those. They were all connected. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. they was all, all connected. So I learned that from you. Thank you for uh, I pointed out. I didn't want to spoil. Like I felt. And like you I, and I, you know what? You just called me a massive. You the biggest nerd I know. Nah. Correlation was, between Unbreakable. My whole family don't know. Nobody know that <laughs> except for you. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Okay. Before we started shooting, because I need to explain something. We were arguing about which Pokemon was the best. Oh my god! And and, and, I, and after I done told your ass, no, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, you didn't open so, the can, you didn't open Pandora's he, box. So he <laughs> made the point that Pokemon Moon and Sun, Sun and Moon is better than Silver, Gold, and Crystal. Why did I say that though? And you said because there's more in-game activities. All right then. But then I went and said, well, based on that thought alone, then you're going to say that Pokemon Sun and Moon is better than the originals. Yeah. But then you said that is uh, Generation 2 better than Generation 1. And I said I would take Generation 1 over Generation 2. I felt like it was way harder. I felt like it didn't baby you in a lot of stuff. Which I think we both agreed on that. And uh, there was more Pokemon in Generation 1. 
Then it was in generation two. Generation one, think about it, had 151, right? Yep. Yep. One was pretty much unattainable, unattainable because we all missed that damn event. Which is for Mew. So you have to glitch to get Mew, or you had to have gotten it a couple years ago with the um, the legendary mystery gifts that they gave yeah, out. Yeah, they were handing them out. Yeah. So, so this guy. Uh, you hear him? of course, man, listen, I've been grinding Pokemon um, on my resume, my gaming resume. I have legitly caught all 251 Pokemon except for... The Mew Mew, I had the glitch to get, but uh, on my cartridge, it says that, and this is all virtual console, I have the certificate. I actually took a picture of the certificate. The certificate is actually in my phone. Uh, I will be taking my second certificate, which is for the completion of uh, Pokemon Silver, because that's the one I did it on. I will be taking that today, too. I'm just saying, listen, as a kid, I couldn't have done that because you needed two. You needed a g- cable. You needed all that shit to do legitly do it. I'm sorry, as an adult, I'm taking advantage. Of <laughs> as I'm taking advantage. Of I go buy Nintendo cards for days, which you really don't. You just need ten dollars for the one game. But I have, I have your DS, which you loaned me, so you're he enabling has, me. He has my D- DS. I, he does. I took it hostage for some months now, and but I've been putting games on there for him, so he can't really be too mad. I'm and not and I got shinies. And I'm giving him shinies. So he just called me a nerd about knowing about and gla- and uh, well, split and come and then bringing it back to glass. Well, everybody you know, just, everybody plays Pokemon. Everybody knows but Pokemon, the, but don't nobody extent, know that not shit. Not I didn't know that. that. Not to the extent that you do. That's bullshit. You need to go watch the little kids play VGC. I was watching a uh, what is VGC? Uh, the VGC is the. I forget what it's called. The video game, video game some championships. I think and it's video game they, cha- where they play, per, like they play professional esports, Pokemon. professional Pokemon. Pokemon. But <laughs> they ha- they do which a hey, which I didn't a- know they do Pokin Pokin Ten the the fighting game one. Yeah, that shit actually looks fun. It does. I was watching sense. this dude whoop ass with Sceptile. He even went mega. He mega evolved in the game. I didn't know they had that. I knew the game was out. I just didn't know it looked that fun. It actually looked. You, you know what's so funny? I think back to when I first wanted the Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. I was in elementary school, and I remember like seeing the cart, the anime, because it is an anime. Um, yes, it is. I do call it a cartoon, though. It's an anime. Um, <laughs> I remember watching the anime. And then when the when I heard there was a game coming out, I was like, "Oh, it's about to be the <laughs> ultimate monster fighter!" Yeah, uh, and it's gonna be a breeze. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, that no. turned into one of the most. I need to learn how to read. I need to know how to. Uh, hey. I, it taught me a lot. It actually really that that, that really jump start me into RPGs. Man, listen, I'm gonna tell you when when I fir- the first one Strategy I got. Games. The first one I got, I, it wasn't even red or blue. My brothers got red and blue first. I ended up getting a, a Game Boy, the special edition Pikachu one. The cut, You got the Pokemon yellow. Yeah, and it came with the yellow version. And that's when I started playing. You know who taught me how to play? My second oldest sister. She started it, and you had to learn. Like, like I wasn't playing. Remember, we even talked about this. We didn't play for like to go against types. We only played what whatever cool. Pokemon looked cool. Yeah, whatever so, Pokemon looked cool was the one that was and and used. and listen to this though. Up until the adult, and I beat Yellow right, and I had <laughs> I beat Yellow. Uh, <laughs> is that one more plug? <laughs> Seven up, Cherry. It's refreshing. Oh Delicious. Lord. Okay. Light uh, sodium. Listen, we are. Uh, let's let me finish up here. So, uh, when I played, my sister taught me how to play, and then I I would just play through the game. Now I didn't. I said I beat the game, but I beat the game in my eyes. Oh, I beat the Elite Four, which that shit was the hardest shit on earth. Which as a kid, at least, because I'm just using. Every other move, my Pikachu was like level 100 because I saw you couldn't evolve them and do all this extra stuff. So. As I, when I got older, like in high school, I'm like, I wasn't doing shit. I wasn't doing nothing. Man, I didn't even realize in yellow you could get 
all the other three starters just by talking to somebody and getting your Pikachu to a certain level. I didn't never did that until like until like high school. So then now as an adult, I got some time. My damn Game Boy. I got time today. Yeah, it don't turn off. I can literally close my DS and open it whenever I want and play a little bit and close it back and go do whatever I'm doing. I play my DS while I'm playing State of Decay 2. Yep. I do both. I'm sitting here shiny breathing and that's it. So, uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. And that, uh, but Comic-Con. I, the, well, my last point. My goal is to get a complete living dex before the new game comes out. Not this let's go EV bullshit because that's just Gen 1. Uh, I want to get all like 900 something Pokemon and have them in my Pokebank. So, yeah. That's my end goal. That's my Pokemon rank. I, kn- I knew you were real when you were getting a Pokebank. Oh, hell yeah. When that happened, I knew. I was like, oh. I got I got three hundred days. <laughs> I got three hundred days left on my Pokebank. Because it's a okay. It, so, all right. So yeah, Comic Con. Comic Con. So I appreciate the support and the, the shout out for shouting out my YouTube page. I do do trailer reviews. The reason I do so many of them is because it's the quickest video for me to do, without taking up time for me doing this, being a dad, being a husband, working. Living life sh- away from my computer. The shebang. Yeah, the sh- the whole shebang. <laughs> so it allows me to get content out there, have fun while doing it. Because I love watching them. Like, I think the best one I've made was the, um, and this wasn't from Comic-Con, was the um, the the Nun, the Nun trailer. Mm. I, didn't I, was see legit, that one. I was legit scared. Yeah. Like, and you can see it on my face. I'm rocking a do rag and everything. It was all bad. <laughs> do rag, but do rag. The most, but out of all the trailers I saw, the ones that I really enjoyed the most were Aquaman, The Walking Dead season nine, and um, I even liked that little teaser trailer for uh, Iron Fist. But uh, but besides that, uh, Shazam, I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised with Shazam. Yep. Um, I didn't do a trailer review for that one, which I'll probably talk about it. Coming but, coming soon. Coming soon. But that one, man, I was pl- I'm I'm so happy at how pleasantly surprised I was. Because I'm not gonna lie. When I seen the pictures and it the looked, outfits, it looked cheesy. cheesy. I said the same thing. And you like, know how super, super campy. It's so funny. The only the only reason why I watched the Shazam the Shazam trailer, my daughter was watching Netflix or YouTube on my phone. And I heard, I seen the DC logo flash. And I was like, let me see that. So I sit there, I'm holding the phone up. And that's how we got to watch it. I'm like, oh, this is going to be Shazam. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then as I started paying attention to it even more, I realized how dope it actually looked. I'm like, wow. And did you notice the lighthearted tone? Yes. The what, and the colors. Yeah. See, that's a, that's a I, I like color palettes. I like wide shots um, when it comes to movies. And I didn't see too many wide shots for that, but the color palette was dope. It was bright, sunny. Um, it wasn't doom and gloom. It, it they clearly weren't in Gotham. Um, but you think I, I think that has something to do with uh, with Shazam himself? True. Oh, his personality because yeah. he's a kid. Exactly. He, you know, he's always been a kid. Yeah. So I I personally loved it. Um, I. I and I'm not even the huge I'm not a huge DC fan when it comes to their movies, but Aquaman caught my attention and oh, Shazam. Yeah. Aquaman, Aquaman is look dope and look number color one. Palette, it's it's he's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's lighthearted, but you can tell there's going to be a lot of serious moments. I just hope they don't get too funny. Like uh, the movie that was way too funny to me unnecessarily was Thor Ragnarok. It was unnecessarily funny. I think they, I to be honest, I thought that's what they were going for. They were, oh. You know, I, that whole, like, you know, it almost like retro, goofy. you know, yeah, type theme. I, th- I could have swore that's what, I'm like, okay, cool. But it, Ragnarok was still a good movie. It was a dope, oh, bro. The scenes? Yeah. Like, when he, spoiler, super spoiler. Man, Rag, if you ain't seen Thor Ragnarok, I don't it's know what to Netflix, tell you. That's all bad. It's <laughs> Um, like it really, and it's been on Netflix for a while now. Yeah, 
Come on. Um, cut the malarkey, guys. Cut the malarkey. <laughs> uh, but no, like the scene where he ran into his dad. Yeah. The scene when you first meet Hella, like, mm-hmm. it, or even when uh, what was his name? Soul Car or Soul uh. Soul Tour, when Soul Tour really came into the picture, yeah, like it, it dude, it was dope, yeah. Um, but it just, it was so bouncy and like unnecessary. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was too many jokes, yeah. But like you said, that was what they were going for. Even the cover of the movie was, yeah, like the whole weird. like it almost looked like out. Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. yeah, exactly. So it really did. I listen. I think with. I think it's a, a, yeah. it's a different step. Well, Aquaman and Shazam. I think it's a mm-hmm. different step because I'm not. Sh- I won't say that that's the reason why I don't really mess with these the DC movies like that. Uh, but these actually looked like amazing. They looked like, yo, let's go see these. I'm telling my wife about these. But I never said this about Wonder Woman. Never said it. I'm. I never said it about Wonder Woman. I never said it about the uh, the Justice League. I never I said it about Batman that. versus Superman. I just, when I seen them movies, I wasn't like caught. Like it didn't catch me. The way Aquaman and Shazam snapped. Like, like it was you. there, yeah, right I'm there. immediately looking forward to it. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, um, I still think, in my personal opinion, the best DC movie of the last 10 years would be uh, Man of Steel. Really? Um, I love that damn movie. You say and it's the last ten years. Man of Steel was within the last ten years. Yeah. What was uh Dark Knight and all that? That was in there Rises. Too. Okay. Yeah, all that, all that was there. Huh. But I, I feel like you got to work hard to fuck up Batman. Do you get what I'm saying? Like Batman is such a Ben fucking oh. Affleck. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop, man! Stop. What what I'm saying is Batman source material and the fandom of Batman is so deep, just like Superman's deep. I'm not even gonna sit here and ask. ask yeah, Superman. I was about to say the same Superman thing. Superman is very deep, mm-hmm. but they didn't give us. I'm Superman here to save the day. Da 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 da. That shit wouldn't Come work. In. They didn't give us that. They didn't yeah. give us Golden Age smile on his face coming in, swooping in, saving cats. They didn't give us that, which is I'm happy they didn't. They gave me a Superman who was struggling in life. Was that's why you like himself. it. I love seeing struggle. I like that's I why love, you like it. I love seeing heroes struggle mm-hmm. because this is why I still think season one of of uh, of Marvel's Daredevil is some of the best, the best superhero TV show, mm-hmm. live action TV shows, live action because we already know. Cartoons, we could go for days on that one. Yeah, but as in seeing somebody truly struggle, seeing somebody fight over ten people and get exhausted to the point where he's throwing his body, I love seeing people who carry this mantle of super struggle. Yeah, because otherwise it turns into the Goku. Thirty episodes in, you go a new level and you kill. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I don't. I think or if they could have did if I don't know how to really say it. I just wasn't. It didn't grasp me like that. Man, it still was was a good movie. I would put it up there with. I would say, right after. I wouldn't even know what to say because I I enjoyed it better than I enjoyed Justice League. I enjoyed it better than I enjoyed Wonder Woman. I enjoyed it better than I enjoyed. Uh, the Batman versus Superman. Fact. I would definitely say it's so. It's like yeah, it's right after the Batman movies. Yeah. Now, the now, Bat- now, I I feel bad. I feel like discussing uh, discussing the Batman trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that's like using Goro. <laughs> like I really, I really do. I really do because it's always like Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark be- Knight Rises. So, they were, all right, so oh, you so you don't want to you don't want to talk about it up, tried, up to that I point. Like those are trump cards. Those are okay. those are like I can respect that because I would choose those any one dope. I would choose any one of those movies over all the other ones. All the other ones. And I, I, and yeah. I uh 
a good portion of me said because Christian Bale was such a great Batman. I thought he was an awesome Batman. I thought he was a great the voice thing was hilarious. Batman was still dope. I think he, I think he brought a different element to Batman. Then and comparing him to because let's say Christian Bale's our like. Batman, when I really was like paying attention to actors and shit, we knew there was other Batmans oh, like, out here. Actually, knowing but, who's who. Yeah, Christian Bale's really, like ours. Eight wise, I want to say it's George Clooney. That's yeah, but yeah. <laughs> nipple Batman. I didn't even know who the pale George Clooney was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's but um, was. yeah. You know so he still think, apologizes about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Isn't George Clooney the one that gave like a million dollars to all his friends or whatever? Was that him? I think that was him. You kind of cut out. What happened? I think that was him, George Clooney, the one that gave like money to all his best friends. I think I seen that somewhere. Ah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. There, you know, when you get to when you get rich enough, that's, yeah, that's that's always fun. But um, so yeah, Christian Bale, okay. Batman, whatever. So Shazam, uh, Aquaman, Comic Con. All right. So comparing, mm, well, you can't really compare the two until they Is come it? out. So that's, yeah, you can't really do that right but now. Just but yeah, based on the trailers. They're so different than all the other um, Batman the, or other, the DC? other DC movies of yeah. the last, like live action movies. Okay, they they're way upbeat. The color palette is totally different. It reminds me of um, they're closer to Wonder Woman than anything else color wise, color mm-hmm. scheme. And when I say that, I'm more talking about brightness. So I guess you wouldn't even say it's color palette. Well, yeah, you would. Am I using the right words? I don't know. You keep saying that, but I don't think you know what that. I I don't know. I know what you mean though. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you way brighter, looks upbeat. Yeah, it It doesn't look doom and gloom. It doesn't look like they're hanging out in Gotham. Gotham Um, Gotham is just a dark ass place. If I see a colorful Gotham, I'm I'm liable. I would I would pass out probably. Okay, so Shazam. Aquaman. What What else else did I have up that really The Walking Dead? Okay. This uh, season, I was I was okay. So it's confirmed. It was always a rumor, but then uh, and uh, Andrew Lincoln himself said it. Uh, he's not coming. He's he's done as Rick for after like a few episodes. Uh oh. I that's what I said. I was like, oh, that's a big uh oh. Like I was I was ready to give up on the show. I found myself fast forwarding through a few episodes, like on The Walking Dead, the season eight. Like I was just burnt. They they drew out the death of certain characters. They they worked too hard to do nothing. It, to do the inevitable. Uh, you know what I mean? Man. Like, it, it's always like with a show that's so closely tied to its uh source material, you can't draw on certain things that are like almost common knowledge. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, I I've I really felt like even after watching all of that or reading it, it uh i felt like they did that on purpose to stretch it all stretch because oh, think course. about it three three seasons could have gave us all of the walking dead oh bro you oh, see yeah. what i'm saying well remember the first season was what six episodes i don't which I don't is still remember. in my opinion the fir- the best here i mean let me fact check but while i'm doing that i really it seeing this season trailer really gave me a spark um, to be back into The Walking Dead, like I'm actually excited again, and it's been a long time, um, since I've been excited for uh The Walking Dead. Hmm. Yep, The Walking Dead. It was only six episodes the first season. Okay. Um, but I'm truly like I haven't, man. I haven't felt that. I've been burnt out on Walking Dead. I. I get I get where you're coming from. I wasn't burnt out on it because I was still kind of actually paying attention to it. When I went into walk, when I got to like the season, when I got to season three, or I believe it was season four is when I actually sat down and read the graphic novels. After reading the graphic novels and then getting back into it, I had to take the graphic novels out of my head. Yeah, you got to throw that. I had to. There's a lot of characters who died. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to work talking about it like, nope, that's not, hey, it didn't happen like that in here. It didn't happen yep. like that in here. Yeah, so, and it almost ruined the fun of it. Yeah. So even paying attention to it now, all the stuff that happened, you, if you, if you sit and say, oh yeah, well 
this shouldn't happen because in the book, not so, you, so it's so hard for you to it's hard for you to do that. This is why I continue to pay attention to it because it was almost something new, and it was because they it it was a they, lot new. They didn't do a lot of things that should have happened yeah. based off the graphic novel. I was telling somebody at work if this if this was if The Walking Dead went exactly by the graphic novel, it would have been way shorter, way different, way shorter. They would have been done. There wouldn't have been no more seasons, no more nothing. It would have been way shorter, and it would have been way doper because it would have been mad darker. It would have been mad like, like you probably couldn't even show that. Like I don't even know if you would have been, been able on. on it would have been like on HBO or Showtime or some I'm Showtime happy or something. That the whispers are finally making their way to the show. Okay, that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, so and I think I I don't know if they're gonna kill Rick. I I want to say I read an article saying that he's not gonna die. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that he's just gonna somehow be out of the picture, um, and hopefully he comes back because I think Andrew Lincoln's a great actor. Yeah, he plays a hell of a Rick. Like I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture the show without him. You know what I mean? Because he was such a driving force. It, it would be like watching a Mission Impossible movie without. Him. Yeah, of course. That's, and then and then you kill off his son, who could have easily took over. Mm-hmm. And I would have been okay with that. Like yeah. him just passing a torch and him running with it. I yeah. would have been more than okay with that. Yeah, because that would have been a, that would have been that would have been a breath of fresh air. Okay. Yeah. Like new... okay, now it's under yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I... but you know what? The way at the beginning of season eight, the way they were showing him and the way they were walking him around and he was dealing with stuff, I knew he was gonna die. I was like, they gonna kill that boy. Hmm. I just knew it. Like, oh, you talking the... about the first half of season eight? Yeah. yeah. They. Like just the way they introduced him, he was all lighthearted, lethargic. He already seemed like he was dead. But the sad like, part, like and the, the sad, like the sad part about going. it is they still, and I, and I could be wrong. I probably haven't seen it. They haven't said why they fired him. Oh, I didn't look into it because that's on the comments, guys. Yeah, if you, you guys heard anything, fired, cause, yeah. Because remember, he was like that was the reason. He was like they, I got fired. <laughs> And they killed my character off, and that was that. But I wonder if it was something deeper than, yeah. You know, that's obviously it was deeper than rap. <laughs> deeper than rap, you are Uh-oh. extra dumb for that one. But uh, um, I'm okay. I'm excited now, for season nine. Yes. Um, I, it well, looks super dope. And then okay, some more trailers I was looking at. So Call of Duty, it's not Call of Duty, but they bet somebody finally took Nazi zombies and turned it into a movie. I did see that. They turn Call of Duty zombie mode, and they turn it into a movie, and I can't wait to watch. Oh, you know, and Overlord. I and I didn't even pay attention to it. I wonder if it's gonna be like the man, the OG characters. It does. It, it's not Call of Duty at all. Uh huh. Like it's not. It has nothing to do with Call of Duty. But somebody finally just took that whole premise of getting into a situation in Nazi Germany and being killed by their experiments. Mm. And that's exactly what's happening in this movie, and I can't wait. Overlord looks dope. But the thing that... oh, The pleasant surprise I had, and um, I think we talked about this before, was, I don't know if we talked about it off uh, while not recording, but the DC Titans. I am excited for that. Yeah, you know, we did talk about that off camera. Now, I was worried, I'm not going to lie, looking at the costumes there... I mean, um, looking at the costumes without all the CG effect, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, God, why does they make Starfire look like a prostitute? Like, it bothered me. Mm-hmm. Even though, and it's and it wasn't that because she was wearing a skimpy outfit. It was the cheap halfway mink, halfway rat fur coat. Like that. I remember, that, remember us, remember us actually yeah. showing pictures. <laughs> we, yeah, were, we were, were literally back going back, sending like, pictures back and forth. Why did they got her looking like this? But in the trailer... If corrected itself, it looks dope. Okay, I didn't she see the looks like Starfire. Oh yeah, all the effects are there. They really added to it, but I'm still a little bothered. I hope they're not pulling a princess and a frog on us <laughs> and selling us a princess. Yeah, when we get a frog for 90 percent of the movie. I hope they're not about to play us out like that. And the only time she goes super, so the whole time she's walking around the show, looking like she's selling ass. Yeah, like, I, I just really hope that's not what's about to happen. I'm nervous about that. I mean, we'll we'll I, we'll see, because I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it right after this. But at the end of the day, um, I don't I don't know. They could have did better. They could have. Who was in charge of that? I heard they could have. Or they could have. <laughs> 
I don't know. Hell, they paint. Uh, they painted. What's her name? Green. They make Gamora. You know what I mean? Like there's a million, <laughs> there's a million other ways they could have handled this. Yeah. Um, and still use the same actor because she's just fine. Beautiful lady. She, they treated her like crap on the internet to a point where they she got rid of her social media. That's how bad it got for her on the, the internet. internet. Is a horrible internet place, man. Savage savagery uh, no days off a horrible but, place but the part that caught me the the thing that caught me the most is shout out to tone deaf where you can actually listen to us on tone deaf radio. radio tone deaf radio you can actually hear us on everything from spreaker spotify iheart radio itunes and all that other good stuff dropping the plug i really appreciate you guys i'll jump in the messages uh <laughs> I'm terrible at it. But, you and me both. <laughs> but he actually gave us some homework to read the um to read the Judas contract. Yeah. Which was really dope. And that gave you the breakdown of how the Titans formed reading up to that point. And the Titans formed to help uh to help uh Raven control the demon in her or her dad, Trigun. And I think, spoilers, I think that's the premise they're running with the show. We're seeing the origin of the Teen Titans, and they're going straight from the comics. Okay. Because well, it looks like Raven is going to be the center character, and that she's having a hard time controlling herself. And that's Trigun. So that's going to be dope. She she was in the in the cartoon as well. Yeah. She was that, like that. Yeah. You know? that was, but they went out of order in the cartoon. Of course. Because um, the Judas, they ended with the Judas contract in the cartoon, mm-hmm. and then after that, they went to Teen Titans Go, which at first I had a problem with. And only reason I had a problem with Teen Titans Go was because of how dope Teen Titans was. Yeah, that's the only reason. It wasn't like I'm, I'm not. <laughs> they a, even, I'm not completely they even threw shots. They was like, uh, oh yeah, he was like episode. The guy, I forget the, the villain's name, uh, but he was like, "Don't was make me reboot you." Was his name Controller? <laughs> yeah, or, uh, I rebooted you guys once. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. That was funny. They made a joke like all of this is because of one. They made that canon. Like I, that is fast. man, my daughter, my daughter's eyes got big as heck when I told her, "Yeah, these." There's the other ones. And she said, the other ones? So I actually yeah. showed her, and she was like, oh, she was all excited because she's been watching the Teen Titans, the Teen Titans go. So as I'm showing her this one now, now she's all into it. She wants to watch more. So I think it's a great entry. Yeah. I think it's a dope entry to people who, because think about it. Do they have, I mean, yeah, you got like Disney XD that shows Justice League um, and other stuff like that. But remember growing up, we, Saturday morning, you would have uh, the Batman animated series. Yep. You would have uh, so and so and so and so. Like, you could just go on. I think Teen Titans Go is a badass, is a, a badass, funny, while still showing you prime characters and showing you character building in different situations into comics and into the animated comic world. Yeah. I think, I think it's a great entry. She'll love it. It's, it's bouncy. She's getting it's into playing video games and stuff now. And so music is dope. And Teen Titans, the, yep. The, on Teen Titans Go, mm-hmm. the, the little rap stuff. That's the yeah. She hilarious. she man, she was singing one of them songs to me. I'm like, where the heck you get that from? And she she actually showed it to me because we uh, got on Hulu. So I'm like, oh boy, that girl, she's right? catching on to everything. Dude, my daughter. So speaking on kids, my kid, the way she gets me. If I'm doing anything that she doesn't want me to do, <laughs> she'll come up to me and say, Daddy, anime? I've witnessed it hand first. <laughs> anime? Like, if, and she'll like squint, like, anime? Mm-hmm. Anime? Let's watch anime, Daddy, anime? Because she knows I'm going to be like, oh, for sure. Like, yeah, let's go. I got a million and a half shows I need to get through. There's so much anime. Let's anime. watch something. Jesus. Yeah, I could just go through my gallery and just click something. Boom, mm-hmm. let's go. Uh, and then I'm trying to get the family through Naruto shipping it. Mm. Uh, cause I'm watching Boruto, and my wife will come in and be watching it with me, and she'll be like, "Wait a second, didn't he die? Or wait a second, didn't they? Didn't wasn't he an enemy? Like, why is Sasuke okay and everybody loves him now? Wasn't he? oh, we gotta <laughs> we gotta start all over again. <laughs> oh, lot. We got like 300 episodes to watch. Mm-mm. Let's go. <laughs> I should get into Naruto. I've never. Watch the episode. My cousins are diehard fans of Naruto. Oh. Got all the games. Got the headbands. Got all that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of that, you uh, 
You want to speak on the, um, the beta? Striker. Yeah. Yeah, Shinobi Striker comes on tonight. It goes live tonight. And I can't wait. So, and I, I, I would hope for It's you. basically Dragon Ball. It's like a Dragon Ball Z. Um, and you get to create your own Shinobi. And I'm about to whoop some ass. I'm about to show everybody who's about to be the no, the new Raikage. Oh, my God. He got all of the terms and tech. Okay, so Naruto. I got to. All right. I've never played a Naruto. I've only seen my cousins and stuff. They're play. dope fighting games. Bro. Yeah. I love the original Naruto Ninja Storm. Yeah, I think that's the one. Was that on PS3? It was on PS2, I want to say. Oh, okay. I want to say it was on PS2. I used to. Be all oh, and then you had unlimited. Uh, you had unlimited substitution jutsus, are basically counters, and you could just be sitting there going back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. Really, bro. So what is Naruto bro. about? About a kid named Naruto who's a ninja on his, which Hokage is the leader of the village. So he's trying to become the Hokage. He's hit the whole journey. I'm I'm giving you a crappy shorthand version, like. A terrible way of explaining it okay but he's a kid on his way to be the best ninja in the world is it comparable to uh, uh what's the name of that show what my hero academia no um uh because when they talking about naruto i think of uh the last airbender oh no I would say no, no. Yes, but, yeah. I'm... If, but let me tell you this. If you enjoy Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll enjoy Naruto. Okay, bang. Period. Perfect. Because I, I enjoyed not, Avatar. I, I enjoyed Avatar. Watched all of them. Actually, my, my, my baby brother, boy, he every day come home from school, he had them recorded. I don't yeah. know what, what kid back then knew how to even record. He hooked the DVD player, uh, the the V the VHS up. It wasn't even. It was VHS. He was recording over, Damn. and we we would re, was I would just sit down and watch him with him, and I just got into hey, it. So let me tell you how real Avatar is. From I watch Avatar every night on the way to bed. on the way to like, bed. I put it on, yeah when I'm going to bed and I'm like winding down. So really, I throw on Avatar. Yes, Jesus, every night. No jokes. Okay. All right. Well, maybe I should get into some Naruto. I can't believe that is that um I didn't need, well because I'm usually you didn't know I'm it was all this real. You didn't know it was this real the headband real. I seen you wearing that the other, uh, what was that, a couple couple times. I think ah. I made a couple of videos. Yeah, with that thing on. I'm like, what the heck is that? But I didn't. I guess because I'm into fighting games a lot. I just never played. The last oh, one, so I didn't even know they were coming out with another one. So you're gonna know all that. You know but, me, um, man. Fighting games. Oh, bro. But yeah. Um. So how did we get onto this? Oh, our kids. Our kids liking. Our kids. Yeah. Teen Titans the, into. Yeah, Teen Titans. Oh, okay. Naruto. Titans. So I, I'm gonna give Titans an honest try, and I'm excited. I want to say it comes out. What is it? Is it October or September? Something comes out in September. Let's see. Yeah. Let, I, um, correct me if I'm wrong. And then another trailer, the movie Ken. I seen the I seen the poster. This this wasn't at Comic Con, I don't think. I seen the poster when I went to go see Unfriended, which was different. Um, I seen the poster and it looked epic. It had some black kid with like an aura around him. I was like, oh damn, what's all this about? And then it's a family crime sci-fi thriller okay. not, I mean action movie and I was like holy shit like the trailer caught me off guard I didn't think it was going to be I thought it was going to be some kid with superpowers trying to figure out his life no nah, a kid finds a futuristic gun and he's like shooting shit up okay and, and his brother gets caught up in a gang problems with James Franco and James Franco's the leader James like, Franco is it a comedy I, or is it real no, like, it's a serious movie uh, James Franco was, James Franco like, is one of the most versatile actors yes he is yes he is 100% out there boy that, that dude is funny him and his little brother <laughs> oh and then the Mayans MC trailer hmm. for uh, the new the spinoff of Sons of Anarchy 
I oh, can't okay. Wait. I didn't see the trailer for that. I can't. The but I, I, dope. I've been following it since the dude announced it. Since they got a the, the recent one of the most recent trailers, or not the most recent, because it's supposed to start after the fact, right? Yeah, this is three years after. Jackson yeah. Had. So spoiler. I I wouldn't even be mad. I, I I'm obviously it's a different perspective. It's a whole different. It's a whole different world. Yeah, yeah. because you're not even. This You're is nowhere not, near. Uh, uh, I forgot the name at? of the city. Um, charming. You're nowhere charming, near Charming. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're. They're in the board. They're on a border town, uh, in California. Yeah, they're in California on a border, either California or Texas. Man, I'm telling you, I think California. I I can't wait because I I watched the mess out of. I, and it's funny. I I got into Sons of Anarchy last year, the beginning of last year. Oh, it's lucky. You didn't man, have to you I, man, I binge watched that whole thing. It took me. Did uh, you feel like they rushed the the last season? The, the yes, it, they they okay. absolutely it got, did. It, all of a sudden, shoot me! Oh, all right, shoot yeah. you! All right, this will <laughs> turn. It turned into Grand Theft Auto really fast. <laughs> that whole season was a long it, version of what Grand Theft Auto is. Yeah, it, it, that that is like. I think off they was in the writing room and was like, man, listen, we fuck all this. It. I'm tired. <laughs> it got to end now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too damn high. <laughs> but, man, right. I'm going to tell you. I, I uh, Oh, so I, I do got that. Uh, It's supposed to. Oh, it entered development in 2014, but it is supposed to be. It's supposed to debut 2018. So it's a it's an actual it's a series. It's a show. Yeah, it's a series. Oh, okay. So it's a live yeah, action series. And that's why I'm a little worried. I hope they're not playing my girl Starfire. Okay, so it says it was a web. It's a web television series, but then it also says it was developed. It was supposed to. It well, it says. Entered developed in two in September two thousand fourteen for cable channel TNT. So I wonder how that's going to actually. It's not on TNT. It's it's going to be on DC streaming service. Okay, okay. So that's why it says web, uh, web television. Okay, I'm all for that. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. It says, uh, the spinoffs. Oh, okay. No, that has nothing to do with it. But yes, sometime this year we're supposed to be getting it. Hello? Let me see. I'm here. Oh, you're looking uh, for it? Uh, let me see. It's supposed to be coming out. Bro. Damn it. I watched the trailer. I just forgot what day it was coming out. Um, But yeah, I'm I'm seriously, I can't wait. Yeah. And then to see the best part of that whole trailer, I don't know if you saw it, was Robin saying, fuck Batman. That shit <laughs> had me. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Batman! I was like, "Oh shit!" He said on the <laughs> on Grayson Squad. There you go. <laughs> he, said, he said on Robbins. <laughs> you, you better chill. <laughs> they had me rolling. That shit so funny. Oh my god, he was super serious for that one. Oh gosh, Robin is hilarious. You, were you were you always a Batman fan? I well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Batman. Uh, what was the other one called? Was it Batman uh, Beyond? Yeah. That show was dope. Batman, Batman Beyond was animated dope. series. I always liked when he ran into Rage. Al- Rage Al- Ghul. Whenever yeah. he ran into Rage, I loved it because Rage Al- Ghul is the the demon's head of the um uh what is it? oh my god I can't believe I forgot League of Shadows and um he Batman it showed his humanity. And it showed how tempted he could be. Mm-hmm. Like, because it was like, why don't you just come over here, man? Like, you can run all this. This is all you. You can take over. Yeah. You, can, you know, even in Gotham, they touched on it. Not touched on it. It was the whole last season dealing with Ray Shaw. Haven't even watched that. Oh, you haven't watched Gotham? Nope. It's on that list of long awaited Netflix. things, okay, long awaited things Arrow? to do. No. I got a whole bunch of catching up to do. And DC, I just wasn't interested in DC stuff. That's fair. I just really, I really, I know we, we talked about this. Uh, I know we just talked about this, but DC, I just was it not, it did not catch me. Till uh, a buddy of mine was like, yo, he was like, what? you have to watch Flash. You have to watch Flash. Watch Flash. Flash. And I, I sat down and watched one episode and I was like, ooh, it, 
it kind of got me there, but I just never went back to it because it's. I've been watching so much other stuff, man. I've been There's dealing so with so TV. much, man. Bro, it's so much TV out and, here. And you know, like- but you know what though? Remember, we had the conversation about accessibility. If I had like a limit, if I had like an ending, like oh, they're gonna take this down next week, I'd be binge watching. The- be binging everything. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, what? Okay. One thing I will say, and this is this is my personal opinion. I always feel that when it comes to cartoons and TV shows up until recently, up until Netflix, Marvel, always felt DC did better TV shows up until recently. Um, mm, I would X-Men, agree. Well, I would look, agree. Look, I'm not going to discard X-Men. Um, let me, I'm not going to discard X-Men animated series. I'm not going to discard... Um, what else was really dope? But you know what? Oh, Legion. Legion is so dope. Um, I see. What else? You're talk- and you're talking about as kids. I'm talking about as kids. Yeah, as kids. As kids, I, I think I watched, I, watched more. I watched more Justice League than I did anything. I watched more uh, Batman Beyond than I did yeah, anything. That's, that's what I'm saying. I watched more Batman than the anything. Batman animated series. I'm yeah. Like, oh, uh, so I would agree with you there. I think it was so much and it was so good. Yeah. As a kid, like it was just so good. I remember watching. But now as of recently, as of recently, it's because we've been bombarded by Marvel stuff. Yeah, Marvel really? stuff is just getting bang, bang, bang hey, here, here, let me, here, let me here. Tell you, let me tell you something. I truly feel the most entertaining Marvel movie outside of Deadpool is Ant Man. The first one? I didn't see the second one. I haven't seen the second one yet either. I'm asleep. Yeah, but Ant Man, the first one. I enjoyed that a lot more than a lot of the other Marvel movies. Really? Yes. I liked Iron Man 3. Except, I, let me tell you, I was just about to say Iron Man 3. Yeah. And you know why I loved it? Because he struggled. struggled. Yeah. The struggle. You, you got that, a struggling yeah. problem, man. What's I up with your love, moral... Bro. What's up with I your moral love, compass? People can't win. People can't be in the winning spot and always be in the winning spot. Dang, man. That's why I gave up on Sonic, man. He was just too fast. No, <laughs> <laughs> You a cold piece. <laughs> hey, man. No, because to see people truly struggle, like it makes them human. It gives them that human. Act. It ties them to me. You know, like, you know when I, relate. you know when I threw that shit out the window. When I seen Captain America pulling planes, man, oh, all that human shit got, <laughs> all that human <laughs> shit get thrown out the window. These, like, they, it would have split them in half if it was any other movie. You know what? I like to see more. I like to see when the villain has has the one up throughout the episode. Mm. When he always had the one up. This is why I like the Joker so much. The Joker, he always there for some apparent reason. He always there, and Killmonger would have been that if he didn't die. If I he didn't die, pick up his body and clone him. <laughs> I, I I hope they bring him back somehow. I'm praying because he was he was he he knew he knew everything. He always knew what to say. He always had the drive to to win. You we seen it. He got he, losing he the fight, come back, win the fight. He popped his girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? He sh- yeah, exactly. He don't care. I just he, when the savvy. villain the, when the villain. This is why Bane was so cool. Yeah. This, this is why Bane was so cool. And Tom Hardy is a dope actor. Yes. Venom. When he whooped his he whooped Batman ass to a, a point, even though Batman was hurt, he whooped his ass to a point where I was like, damn. Even Cat was like this. Man. He was walking like this. The whole yeah, time. like he had on football pants. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, <laughs> Just like this the whole time. Batman, you always in the dark. Listen. He simply were. He said, "He said I was born in the dark." Born. <laughs> Listen, I, that's why I like. That's why I like. Uh, and and I and you know, after saying that, after saying it, I understand why you called it a trump card because trump of that. Card, I think. Trump card. I think that Batman put Batman in the perspective where you. I mean, he he get locked up in the prison to suffer, and what makes it better? Whoops, and we so all rocking my camera. Yeah, I seen that, but I think I was doing the same thing. I'm here jumping and hitting the mic. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> over. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh. But I do get it. I do get the whole. I'm trying to. I just think I like. I like better when the villain has the number, like throughout mm-hmm. the episode or throughout whatever the situation is going on, because we all know the 
superhero gonna win. Until we get to a point where, where they make some shit where the, I can't wait the till Watchmen. somebody does that. The Watchmen. I know, but the I'm Watchmen. I'm talking about with a The Watchmen. Uh uh an, uh like a main titled Marvel movie. You're talking about the Watchmen, but that's not like the Avengers. That ain't like Justice League. There ain't nothing like that. When they make a when they make a, a like something like, like think about it. Think about if Killmonger would have won. Like some shit like that where he wins oh, and the movie ends. <laughs> the movie ends. I would, I would have loved it. He went, That's why Avengers Infinity War was so uh part 1 was so dope. Mm-hmm. But I think what ruined the magic of was knowing that everybody's on like working on their third and fourth movie already. Right? Yeah, like, and you being an adult. Yeah, and me being an adult. <laughs> a kid or kids, a kid who is not. You've probably been crying. Savvy, bro, they, and I wish but, I had that emotion. But, but kids I were, but, but see, what made it so funny was watching those kids cry after Spider Man died and ah, bro, people recording you. their kids as they're leaving the theaters and I stuff like that. that. I loved every, every moment because, of that. Because you got to think, man, like it adds that much more intensity and drama to it. But I went into this movie already knowing. Of course, because you're an adult. But that's what I'm saying. That's why, like, I envy people and I told, to watch. And I told you ass already, stay off the internet. How about yeah. that? Yeah, stay yeah, off the oh, internet, man. dog. Dang. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Like, I envy people who get to watch certain shows for the first time. Mm, like, me when too. I tell somebody, like, oh, I've never watched Game of Thrones. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I wish I was you. I wish I never watched Game of Thrones and I could, <laughs> I could see it with fresh eyes. Man, I said that to somebody or, about Breaking Bad, and he was oh, like, I've oh never God, seen Breaking bro. Bad. I said, like, I wish we could trade places. I wish I could bro, experience it all over all again. All over again. The magic. Remember that plane crash scene? Man, I oh, love my. God, every single minute of that, of that, and of these shows, period, because we get it and we stay up on it, you know. Other than even Sons of Anarchy with me, even the, the oh dude. my oh. gosh, the boom, do- and hey, then <laughs> even the boom docs, man. I and I love the boom docs, so I don't know, man. With me, I, I kind of just take it out, is I don't really, I, I know that. Spoiler alert. They ain't really dead. Something gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I already know that, but I'm not really I'm not bothered and I'm not angry about it. I just wanna see yeah. it's how you present it. Like present yeah, it. Like make me feel Yes. Because I felt something watching Infinity oh, War. Hey, hey, when when I'ma tell you as a parent, I never understood what my parents would talk about or when you hear parents say, like, oh man, that that hit me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh whatever. But when I heard Peter Parker's voice crack <laughs> and he cried out for his uh for uh Tony Stark, I damn near cried. You know, I had I grabbed my wife. I almost <laughs> looked away. I'm like, I can't. can't. <laughs> you know what th- you yeah. know you know what's starting to ruin stuff for me is is time. Because uh, like when I'm watching movies and stuff, like say I we, we go we we're watching Infinity or now now this is my point bringing up time was this God, is why so Infinity hard. Infinity War was so dope to me. I'm sitting here watching the movie and I'm all into it and I got to look at my clock. I'm like, damn, we started the movie at this time. It's been like two hours. It's about to end and he still got the gauntlet <laughs> or he's about to get the gauntlet. Like it can't end now with him getting the gauntlet. Oh, what's going to happen? And this is why I was so like amped up because I'm watching time and watching the movie and it it just brought a whole different like like and then to see it end the way it did. I'm like, this can't be it. Hey, this bro, can't be one, it. One thing I can say, being in a in an age where a lot of stuff feels predictable, mm-hmm. I can honest to God say I was surprised and I was happy at how surprised I was when it came to Infinity War. But back to Comic-Con. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that's just listen. Jesus. This is how we do. We fifty. Wait, wait, it's actually almost time. It's almost time. It's almost well, time. okay. Let's let's jump topics because I we gotta plan our comic con trip. Like we gotta we gotta do it right. I don't want to uh, just go for a day. I'm trying to like find some weekend. Yeah, 
Um, do the I'm whole thing if I have to, and just do a big. But <laughs> uh, and I'm... I want to talk. I want to talk about Project Scarlet, Xbox Project Scarlet. Okay, you got to explain that to me. Okay, so naturally, because it's been almost seven years now, six seven years, this console generation. All right. Well, what has it been? Yeah, it's been about five six years, right? It's going mm, on a six year. I because Grand Theft Auto came out what. 2004. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you yeah. right now. All right, go talk, continue talking. Okay. Well, Project Scarlet is Xbox's new console. Now, the major points that they're trying to say is they want their hardware to be, and this is from Phil Spencer, our hardware team is in deep into developing the next generation of Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. Now, of course, that's yes, big... about six years. You're, you're correct. OK, so, yeah, it's been about six years, which that's a pretty long shelf life for this console generation, even though I personally feel we got screwed with Xbox the first. Two oh, I'm years. sorry. Five years. Oh, five. So it's going to be six years next year. Six years next I year. Like November. The first year and a half, two years of Xbox was trash. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were talking about making it a majority of a streaming service like Xbox Project Scarlet Cloud or, you know. Um, they really want to push this. They're really trying to capitalize on their whole game pass, Mm -hmm. which we take advantage of, which I didn't think I would enjoy as much as I do. Yeah. Uh, Cause it gives me opportunity to play games without the disc that I already had. But before you, before you say that, the only reason why you got game pass is because we decided to go digital. Yes. That's the only now. And this is, and it's funny because we talked about this before, um that console get people a lot of people do play digital but still they said something along the lines of over 60 percent of people still play physical disc they want to go to the store oh, buy the disc. we're we're gamers we yeah. want to touch it most people want to touch it and then yeah. most people and then you got to think about it too if you're playing on console i'm i was weary the transition from playstation 3 to playstation 4 we just talked about this before we got yeah. on the podcast i got a playstation 3 with a bunch of downloaded games on there what's gonna happen to that can i bring it over mm-hmm. am i gonna be able to take it off put it on the disc something what's gonna happen so it's it's that element right there you, uh, oh you tell and then say people who don't take take their account serious and use a fake email address and do all of that whole shebang now you sitting here with a fake email address forgot your password and all the stuff you put on your account you can't get back because you, you don't know back. none of the information so now what am I supposed to do with all of that? Whereas if I buy this game, I can bring that game anywhere I want to bring that game to. I'm going to tell you, I think personally what it's going to take for the for as a whole, for everything to go completely digital, it's going to take free internet for everybody. I think the day where everybody has access to free internet, uh-huh. like no cost, run a game on it, open source open internet like that once we get to that point i think that you'll see a big push for streaming i'm gonna I'm tell you why that's the only reason yeah that's why the only way. that's the only way because they're trying to hit everybody they're not just trying mm-hmm. to hit the people with internet the people who got they, internet they on the still, weekends they were still coming out with ps3 games bro exactly remember yeah, they're like, trying to like, they're new fifa man they trying to touch everybody they want everybody to be touched they want, if you got PC, if you got PlayStation, Xbox, yeah. they want to touch at us all as consumers because we're going to get it. Most Bro, people are going to buy it. Hot air. Boy, me too. Yeah, so we're going to have to wrap this up soon. <laughs> it is hot. I'm sweating. Hot. <laughs> but I'm over here losing weight doing the podcast. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. I think that that's the only way. Once internet becomes free, then you'll say, okay. Then you'll see people start saying, all right, you know what? There's no point in printing discs. Let's save money. Yeah. Put the game, yep. download the game today. Same yep. price. But the problem that brings up is like people buying used games. Yeah. People who bro. discount shoppers. Hey, bro. If this new, if the new consoles come out and they're streaming only, you've immediately killed off a large. You've killed off GameStop. Yeah. GameStop will immediate. It won't immediately die. Because look, people still buy PlayStation game, PlayStation uh-huh. Three games. People are still buying old games, and that's why the one thing I respect about GameStop, uh, one of the very few things I respect oh. about them, is they've made trans. They make transitions. Yeah, they pick up. They picked up Think Geek. 
Hold on. They Keep going. Cricket. They picked up. It, it's so much that they've done. And I truly feel that that would be the nail in the coffin is these newer consoles. I don't know how long they would hold. It would inst- It would start being the ticking time bomb. Um, it would I be bet. the ticking time bomb. Yeah. This new, um, these new consoles, if they're ser- uh, streaming only. And then I wonder mm. how much they're going to cost. Are they going to cost as much as the Xbox One X and PlayStation? I, I uh, would. I, Pro, I would hope. If you're talking up, if you're talking about new console gamings, if they go full streaming, I think that's the last point I heard before I took off. Um, they better drop the price because they're not paying for distribution anymore. That, they're not yeah. paying. You, you know, a big budget, big part of their budget goes down. Would you need big publish publishers anymore if it went all digital? Mm-hmm. Like, or would everything quote, think about that? Indie? Think about that. With everything man. with everything. Look out! Look at what indie. Oh, that's another quick thing because we're already at our limit. Yeah. F- people, a lot of people, a lot of specula- uh, speculation based on an article out of VG uh, twenty four. Um, a lot of people, a lot of the industry expected a growth due to the popularity of Fortnite. Mm-hmm. But what actually is happening is Fortnite is acting as a parasite on a lot of multiplayer console gaming. Right. It's taking away. It's not adding a boost to gaming. It's taking away from other from adding games. A boost to Fortnite. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's intense. Bro. Look at look at what it did to PUBG, bro. Look at what near, it did to it, it. Damn near pushed PUBG to do playground. Rules. Call of Duty I'm only get Call, <laughs> Call of Duty only gets viewers when it's uh when the esports is up. Yep. Most of the games that you see, unless there's something. Sp- Spectacular happened, League of Legends. Unless there's some type of tournament, some type of esport event, some type of something happening, don't nobody give no shit about none of that because Ninja on and TSM Myth is on and they got Fortnite Fridays. (laughs) Bro, everybody in my party list, in my friend list, who used to play PUBG, they're all playing Fortnite. Yeah, I, ch- I checked them. when I signed on to your name today. All of them, all of them are playing Fortnite. It now. said you had thirteen people playing Fortnite, playing Fortnite. and you only had Bro. thirteen people. <laughs> Bro, that's I'm, the, I'm I'm the weirdo on my friend list. Yeah. People should be invited, and I'm like, now nah, I'm good. I'm a, I have nothing against Fortnite. It was I, fun. I'm gonna tell you, Fortnite. I just, I'd rather play something else. Fortnite is Fortnite is a cool game. The reason why I can't play Fortnite as much as I see people doing is because. It, I, I don't, how do I want to say this? I don't, because I, I'm not shitting on Fortnite. Don't get me wrong. No. But like I said, Fortnite, Fortnite is a great game. I stood by it when it came out because oh, we played it. Remember, we played yeah, it. We, we played it. Um, I was, I played on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC for a bit. Uh, I just think that with Fortnite, doesn't. It ain't really. I'm not really too fancied on like the getting the skins and the battle passes. If I'm a play with, stuff's ever yeah, me I'm just game. the guns is the only thing that matters. The guns is how you kill people. Yeah. That's it. All I gotta do is find the guns and kill people. I'm not good at the game. I can honestly say that I'm not good at Fortnite. I don't understand these kids wreck me, and I say kids, they be little ass literal, kids literal destroying kids. me in, on Fortnite. You're, like, You're trash. Yeah, and talking smack. I just don't really, I don't find enjoyment. I can't sit down and play it for more than an hour without saying, oh, well, I'll be back, you guys. And I'm going to be real <laughs> with Go you. offline and start playing State of Decay. <laughs> That's why I feel real bad for, um, and this is my this is my last statement. <coughs> Bless you, sneeze. But I feel bad for one, one trick, uh, one game streamers. Mm-hmm. Gamers that make their fa- streamers who make their fame off of one game, yeah, or one type of game, because then it turns into anytime you turn on your system, everybody's expecting you to play Fortnite. Like perfect example, and I'm ended on this. Ninja went to a conference. He went to E3, and he was gone for two days, and he lost two thousand subscribers, or was it twenty thousand? The internet is fickle. It was twenty thousand. Yeah, it was a crazy number. And I, I think last time I, I I think I don't know if I said it on here, but the last time I said that it was on Twitch. It wasn't on Twitch. It was on YouTube. But either way, either way, the internet is fickle. Yeah, people. I got, I've I've said this example to you. I think I said it to you off stream about Destiny as well. Destiny. Once Damn you, it, we almost made it the whole podcast. 
<laughs> without talking about Destiny. But it's an example. Once you were a Destiny streamer, you play anything else, you're losing yeah. viewership. And that is because the internet's fickle. It'd be people talking shit on these games. And if you ain't playing it, they don't want to watch you they play. They don't want to watch you. You nope. see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with these people riding this wave because it's only making it's making it's the fun. space better. Yeah, you know, the making fun. Twitch better. I but, wonder when Oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna take that back. It's making Twitch worse because all oh, these other games Twitch. I thought you were talking about gaming, but go yeah, ahead. No, yeah. but gaming, yes, it's making everybody's creating the battle royale. Yeah. Somebody's gonna perfect it. I mean, Fortnite's pretty much perfect. Got it. Somebody's to gonna get it to where me and you may like it. Like, what if Call of Duty makes the best old man battle royale ever? I wonder. I'm actually looking forward to Battlefield Five and um, Call of Duty's. I am Battle Royale. I'm. I'm. I'm honest I, to God, I'm praying to, to the Rockstar Heavens. Rockstar, this is. You think Rockstar is going to do a, a? You please, God, just give me one. <laughs> Imagine a Western Battle Royale. Picking up a lever. A oh a man, a lever action. A lever action. Come mm, on, yeah. man. Imagine well, that. Look. I, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of cowboys and westerns. I love mm-hmm. Red Dead Redemption first. I thought that was or the first Red Dead Redemption. I love that game to the max. That game's in my PlayStation. 3. You see what I'm saying? I'm. At, I just set my PlayStation Three back up. I'm. I was really thinking about go get it. I had all the map packs and all the DLC content for that game. So, um, I'm. I'm hoping they somehow find a way to do it because it'll just make the experience better for me. I know I'm gonna like Red Dead Redemption the game. Regardless. Yeah, yeah. Cause I you know, you can't break it. It, it was good already. Just yeah, make it they, better. <laughs> if they just rebooted it, they would have won. Like, yeah. Yeah, they didn't even have to make a whole new one. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? So uh so far, uh, to be honest, these uh, these games that are making battle royale, we may get a battle royale that we actually you may get like a a Call of Duty battle royale and it's something that we actually like, something we can actually play and enjoy. To the max, where we may be playing to 12. The to the max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. But that, that's actually my last point, man. I, I'm yeah, just. because it's too hot. I gotta yeah, go, boy, I'm sweating. I'm legit. Like, I'm up in here dying. Mm-hmm. I am Baron J67. I'm T. And I'm Jones. Gonna go, I'm going to go cool my armpits off in an AC unit. Yeah, I'm going to go. Um, s- I'm going to go find a, one of them strawberry crunch bars. I got two left. I'm about to go devour mine. I, right I now, I, I got I got one waiting on me. I had to hide them from the family because they hey. fat. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> follow us. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Everything's in the description below on YouTube. Please check us out. Tone Deaf Radio, Spreaker dot com back forward slash Tone Deaf Radio. We are on was it Spotify? Right. Man, we right. everywhere, dog. Yeah. Shout out Tone Deaf. We don't stop. I told you that we don't stop. See, all that moving you extra hot, man. I know. Peace. Peace.